Conduction equation in cylindrical coordinates, the same thing you have to deal with, okay? See, this is RD5, okay? This is DZ, okay? So, and this is DR. So, the volume is R, volume is RD5 into DR into DZ. So, this is the volume, okay? Similarly, you can see this is QZ coming up, QZ, QZ plus DZ going out, okay? Q5, that is entering here, Q5 plus D5, you can say it is Q theta here, okay? And then it is like QR here and QR plus DR coming out here, okay? Now, net heat accumulated in the cylinder due to conduction of the heat. So, it is actually it was phi there, but right now we have taken it as theta. So, it was Rd theta, okay? So, it is heat flow in x theta plane. So, heat influx we have already seen. This is the heat influx, okay? This is the area. This is the area, okay? Now, heat efflux means that is uh, means the heat that is coming out of the system. So, this is the elemental heat. This is the elemental heat that is getting added, okay? So, heat accumulation, heat accumulation, you need to subtract it once again. On the similar approach, we are, uh, you know, heading towards it. So, heat accumulation in the element in the theta direction now. So, it is Q theta minus Q theta minus D theta. So, this is what we get, okay? Now, heat flow in R theta plane QZ, okay? So, QZ will have this. This is Fourier's law of conduction applied in the Z plane, okay? And heat efflux means the heat that is coming out of the system. This is this, okay? Sorry, this is this, okay? So, the net heat accumulation will be QZ minus Q, Z plus DZ, and this is what it comes up, okay? Now, energy stored in the cylinder. Energy stored in the cylinder, as we all know, and uh, as I've told you in the previous derivation, that is, you know, this thing, MCP delta T, okay, and heat generated, heat generated is QG into the volume of the system, okay. So, this is the thing, okay. So, this will be in the right hand side of the derivation, and this has to be added with the net heat of the system as we have done it in the previous derivation. So, heat accumulated plus heat generation, the same thing, heat accumulated plus heat generation is equals to heat stored. Okay, that is the rate of change of internal energy. So, this is what we are getting kr dr d theta dz in bracket, it will be d square t by del, r, del square t by del r square plus 1 by r delta. If you solve this, if, if you solve this in a similar way, you will get it plus del square t by r square del square theta plus del square t by del z square plus qg r dr d theta dz dt. This, this small t is basically time. Okay, do not get confused with the capital T and the small t. And then the rho and bracket, this is the volume actually R d theta d R dz, specific heat into del T by del T into del T, okay? So, the final equation that you get for a cylindrical coordinate, three-dimensional heat conduction equation in cylindrical coordinate is this, okay? So, on the similar lines, we have derived for the cylindrical coordinates as well. Now, okay? So, actually, if you can solve it in the heat, uh, if you can solve it in the Cartesian coordinates, you can definitely solve it in cylindrical coordinates. The only thing is that the coordinate changes, okay? So, it will be like R theta plane and that uh, that was like X, Y, Z plane, okay? Now, the general heat conduction equation for spherical coordinates. Now, for sphere, actually what happens, cylinder, as you have seen in cylinder, in cylinder, this element was actually rotating in only one angle. This was that angle, okay? But in sphere, you will find there are two angles, okay? In sphere, it, act, it simultaneously rotates in two angles. It's just like a football. Look at it. it. It rotates like this and it also rotates like this. So, if you actually plot the points, plot the locus of the points, you will find it's actually a football, okay? So, this is basically a spherical coordinate. So, this is one angle theta and this is another angle phi. So, there are two angles. So, the same thing is happening. It is Q theta. It is Q theta plus D theta, okay? So, the volume stays out to be R D theta in, into R sin theta D phi, okay, into D R. So, this is the volume for D. So, this is basically R theta 
and phi plane. So this is the spherical coordinate system. Okay. So x, y, z was for this thing for uh, rectangular coordinates. Then r theta z for uh, cylindrical coordinates, and this is for spherical coordinates. Okay. So heat flow through the same thing. The same thing uh, we'll be doing it. Okay. Like heat flow through heat flow in r theta plane phi direction. Heat influx q phi that is minus k. R d r d theta again applying the uh, uh, that uh, Fourier law of conduction, but now the coordinates has changed. Okay, so that's why thickness and everything, the volume, everything has changed. So it's del t by del sine theta d phi d t. Heat efflux will be q phi plus d phi is equals to q phi plus del by del sine theta d phi q phi r sine theta d phi. Therefore, heat accumulated in the phi direction is d q phi. Okay. So the same thing we have done here. We have calculated Q phi. Then we have gone for the elemental heat addition. So this is the thing that is coming up. Okay. Then heat accumulated in R and phi plane. Okay. So first of all we have calculated in this R and phi plane means it is Q theta. Okay. And then it is Q theta plus d theta. So if you talk about this, so the final thing that has arrived at this. Okay. And then we will have like theta and phi plane, so we are talking about basically Q R. Okay, so Q R it will be like minus K R d theta R sine theta del t by del R d t. Okay, so again we need to calculate the heat efflux. So heat efflux will be Q R plus d R is equals to Q R plus del by del R Q theta d R. Okay, so then therefore. Heat accumulated in R direction. We all know that heat accumulated in R direction will be Q R minus Q R plus D R, as we have already done here. C Q theta, and we have been doing it for all the derivation for for all the previous derivations, right? So it is Q theta minus Q theta plus D theta. It is Q R minus Q R plus D R. Okay, and then the the thing that comes up is this. Okay, the thing that comes up is this. Okay. So from the energy balance equation, again we are on the same page. That is, heat accumulated plus heat generated is equals to heat stored. Okay, this is the fundamentals of any energy balance. Okay, so it is like K R D R D theta del D phi. At it's quite a massive equation. Uh, into it the uh, in the square brackets we have one by R square sine square theta del square T by del phi square. Plus one by r square sine square theta del by del theta sine theta del t by del theta plus one by r square del by del r r square del t by del r d t plus q g r d theta r sine theta d r d phi d t is equals to rho r d theta sine theta d r d phi into the specific heat del t by del t d t. Therefore, we have this equation. That is one by r square sine square theta del square t by del phi square plus one by r square sine square theta del by del theta sine theta del t by del theta plus one by r square del by del r into r square del t by del r. Okay, and then we will have the uh, this column of internal heat generation. Okay, and then we have the energy stored, and we know that is one by alpha del t by del t, and the alpha again is the thermal diffusivity.